Welcome guys, Sulfin here and today we will be unboxing an EVGA Supernova 1000 P2 which is basically just a 1000 watt platinum power supply so it's an 80 plus platinum which is the highest efficiency that you can get for a power supply unit and let's see, this is just the front it shows you the logo and the efficiency on this side it shows you the logo EVGA on the other side tells you EVGA Whisper Silent which is a feature that allows the fans on the PSU to not turn on unless it really needs to turn turn on so it's a little more silent on the back it gives you several different languages telling you the features of it like it's a fully modular design stable power and several different features and then it tells you what cables are included with it um, 24 pin ATX cables, let's see, CPU cables, uh, and several different types of PCIe VGA cables. So we have an 8 pin and a 6 pin. We also have two SATA cables. Actually, let's see. It's kind of hard to read this. It says 2 times 2 SATA cables and then 2 times 3 SATA cables. So maybe there are different types of SATA cables. I'm not too sure. We also have Molex cables and a floppy drive cable, which I would not need. So it basically shows you a picture, efficiency, and features, all of that. So uh, on the top, there's nothing. All it shows you is um, EVGA handle and information about the PSU. On the bottom, same thing a logo and yeah so let's go ahead and open it up to see what's inside so I have my kitchen knife let's go ahead and open it up it's very tightly sealed which is a good thing Here we go. So it's still sealed. I need to remove the seal tape, which is the warranty tape. Okay, so we got it open. I did break it a little. But that's okay. Okay, so as soon as we open it up, this is what we see. So to the right we have a little bag, which most EVGA PSUs have them. This is where you can store your spare cables. So I'll put this aside. On the right still we have a power cord, which comes with everything, so we'll put it aside. And here we have the motherboard 24 pin ATX cable which is expected and let's see what this is a VGA 8 pin yeah a VGA 8 pin this is a CPU we have another VGA another VGA which is also 8 pin Here we have, actually I don't know what this is, okay this is a SATA connection and we have another SATA connection here and we have a fan controller I believe, looks like it is, it's a peripheral control, peripheral cable. And we have an, another VGA cable, but I think this is a 6-pin. Oh, never mind. It is uh, an 8-pin, but you can use it as a 6-pin as well. Here we have another VGA cable, which is the same um, 8 pins, which can be converted to 6-pins. We have another SATA cable. 
we have another SATA cable, another peripheral cable, a CPU cable, oops, Siri went off, and we have, what is this, is this a VGA cable? Looks like it, yeah, a VGA cable, and I don't know what this is, let me open it up. Still don't, oh, okay, I don't know what it is, but. Oh, okay, so it's like uh, to organize your cables. Yeah, okay, I see what it is. Okay, we'll put this aside. It's just to organize your cables so that they're not messy inside of the case. Okay, so now all there's left is, let's see what this is. Okay, so this is, looks like it's some sort of motherboard thing, so we'll put this aside. We don't really need it right now. We also have some screws to put it on the case. Okay, so on the left side now, that was it for the right side, so left side right away we can see there's a manual so this is very useful sometimes but not right now so now let's take out the power supply which is why you guys are here let me put the box aside to make a little more room so this is the power supply you can see that it's on a very nice cloth case and it says EVGA and you open it up here and as you can see it's a fully modular so there's absolutely no cables until you plug them in so this is on the left side you can see the specs on the back side you can see power connection here and you can turn on and off the echo mode, which turns off the fans when it's not necessary. And on the other side, we have specs again, just like on the opposite side. And on the bottom, you can see the fans. So the fans look very nice. Everything looks like it's made of very good quality. So, so now let's install it on the case. I have nothing on the case right now, so it will be empty, but I'm still building it, so one minute. Okay, so this is where the PSU is gonna go inside of the case. Um, I had to remove the thing that was right here, which is this thing. So I had to remove some screws because it was in the way, so I'll put that on later on. But this is the PSU right here, and it's gonna go right here. It's a little extra long of a PSU so it doesn't quite stay on its own so I have to screw it in so I'll be right back. Okay so the PSU is in its place. Let me show you the inside. So as you can see it's in its place so I need to put it back together one second. Okay so the PSU is all installed but I can't really test it until I have the rest of the PC built and that will take a while. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe for more, more videos like these.